I'm Sarah Z. Bitov Komar, photographer, visual effect artist, director of films such as V Dog starring Gerard Depardieu, pardon mon français, and uh, Catwoman starring Halberi Sharon Stone. But now he's out of the film industry and he's the co founder of a great and big company called Sixth. I always have a problem with the TH. Sixth <laughs> Sense VR. <laughs> and they are distributing, producing content, uh, virtual reality content for well-being, especially uh, for, the med for meditation. And today, more than ever, we really, really need this, to really be immersed in this ambience. But you're gonna tell us more. Well, well welcome to Hollywood, but you are in Hollywood. Yes, I'm in Hollywood, <laughs> and I can actually see it's a beautiful weather. And, uh, so I'm going to tell you, welcome to Miracle Mile. That's where I, where I live. All right. <laughs> That's, my, That's my neighborhood. <laughs> but let's not say anything. We never know. Maybe some stalkers, you know, like. <laughs> 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 so, Bitov, you started uh, in France uh, as, a, as a photographer. And then how was your, uh, your path to come to L.A.? Yeah, it's a long path, actually, because, you know, I really started as a photographer when I was a kid. And that's what my first dream was to, 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 work, to, to do images, to do the pictures. And so I really started with it as a kid with a black and white uh, lab in my basement, developing, taking for photos and stuff. And, but, you know, of course, I was really attracted by the, uh, the, 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 the motion picture, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the picture that moves. And, and rapidly, I, it was more about the storytelling than anything, and I wanted to be a director. So that's for, for, for how I started. And then, you know, I, I don't come from a, a, a family in the industry, so I had to, to, to walk my, uh, my way, I mean, uh, on, the, on, the, on the ladder and steps, I didn't know how to. So I started in, uh, in more of, of a um, technical stuff. So I started uh, doing editing. And the fun thing, actually, it was in, in 76. So 1976, when I started to work on, uh, on, um, as an, uh, as an uh, apprentice editor on feature films, it was porn movies. So it was, sorry, Peter? It porn was? movies, porno, porn. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. So it was porn movies. So, I mean, that's because I, I knew a guy who was a, a, a genius guy uh, uh, who was an editor. Uh, uh, and so he proposed me to, to work with him uh, as an apprentice to learn how to be a director and how to, uh, to, 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 to work in the industry. So I started, I started my career in porn movies. So as an editor, and then my fr and the guy who is my mentor and friend, his name is Gérard Cohen, <clears throat> And then he became a director. So he took me as an AD, an assistant director. So, and, and same thing, I, I learned, you know, everything on set with him and with the whole crew. And if, but you know, I, 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 during these days, uh, uh, porn movies were like action movies. Actually, it was Wait, the same. What, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I mean, it, it no. was, I mean, it was like low budget. It was very, very like a, like a niche of type of movie. You had Kung Fu movies and you have porn movies. I mean, the story was pretty much the same. So the whole thing is to, to, to justify why people would fight or would fuck. So, <laughs> That's a good that point, level. but I'm wondering, what were you editing? <laughs> no, I don't want to no, know. No, it, it was movies. No, no, I mean, actually, no, no. By the way, it was real movies. I mean, and there was a story. There was yeah, of a course. story yeah, yeah. No, That's why I, I, I'm, I'm doing a parallel between uh, action and porn. Because at that time, the, the porn industry had nothing to do with, with, with what we have now, with, with you know, you porn and all that stuff. No, it was real movies with a story. And like I said, it was exactly like action movies, but it's, it's, um, instead of fighting, they were fucking. That's, you know, that's what it's the same thing. Uh, and you know, like you had Bruce Lee or Fuck Lee. <laughs> I love, I love, I love that. Hey, no, really, it was, but, yeah. Uh, it was the same same type of thing. So it was, I know, it, it was like my university. So I spent like maybe six years doing that, five six years, from uh, eighteen to uh, like to twenty five, and it was like my university. That's where I learned about. Oh, a bit of was it, 
was it hard i'm playing on on words oh. but was it hard no, but, but uh, was it hard to then transition to other stuff because sometimes i know like uh, like an actor or an actress that did the kind of film like poor films it might be difficult or hard to get into like regular more like feature films so for you were, were you like at, uh, how do you say etichettato etiquetted uh -huh. for that or it was easy for you to to jump into the real feature film that wasn't poor i mean you know, for, so maybe for, they were no, no, for me it was easy because movie is a movie. I mean, and, and, and you know, it was like movie is movie. I mean, if you do horror movies, you're not crazy. I mean, you do yeah. horror movies because you do horror movies. So porn movies at that time, it was the same thing. I mean, it, 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 it was, it's a movie. So, I mean, so I know, and it was fun because people at that time were really nice people and fun. We, we had a great time ever. And, and then, but the transition was hard to go into the normal movies, not because mm -hmm. of me, but because, you know, of people. I mean, because, you know, because you come from the, the porn industry, you don't know shit, uh, and you are, and so you, you won't be able to work with us because, especially in France, where people are kind of, you know, ho, 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 like that. So uh, coming from, with, my back, with this background, with porn movies, it was fairly impossible to get a job in a real movie, on, in feature films. Fairly so, impossible. Yes, yeah, that's fairly impossible. What I, yeah, yeah, because you were, you, you were like a pariah. You know, you were like, you know, it's, 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 it's crap. So, so how did you get the real, your, your first film? How, di how did you come to Hollywood and, and get the credibility that you could actually do and, and work on uh, a regular feature film, let's call, let's call it. Yeah, so then, so, the, so, so then I start to work on, on commercial and corporate movies. It was in, at that time, it was the very beginning on, on, on the video. So, the, uh, uh, so you had like a few, like not really music videos, but mostly like corporate movies, commercial stuff. So I started to work in that industry in order to live, because I had to make some money and also to learn. And that's where I start to learn the video technology, how to edit in video and how to do visual effects in video, which were at that time very, very basic. You know, you had like, it was electronic, it was like switcher and stuff like that, but it was kind of very, very, very fun and interesting. So I really st started to be interested in this technology. And I moved in the early, uh, I mean, actually in 85, I was the first in France to believe in digital. Mm -hmm. So, it, and so, and I was the first to buy this, uh, this machine, this uh, di digital machine called the, the Harry that allows you to do visual effects for commercials and music video, but using digital technology. The, the, machine, the, the machine was like a, 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 a million dollars, so quite, quite, quite expensive. Sorry, it was, sorry, what did you say? One million dollars. It was, the cost was a million dollars. Oh. One million dollars. Yeah, it was a pretty expensive machine. What? Well, yeah. yeah, but you know, worth it. And then, so, I, 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 and I became the guy, the visual effect guy for commercials, for music videos, and I was lucky enough to, to work with amazing people, amazing creative people, like, you know, in France, like people that really know, known as Jean-Paul Goud, uh, Jean-Baptiste Mondino, uh, uh, all the guys who did the, you know, music videos for, for Prince, for, you know, for Madonna. Well, they were calling you because you had that. Yeah, uh, that yeah, yeah. I was, I was the, uh, the FX guy, you know. <laughs> and so I've been doing a bunch of different, I also work for, for TVs, you know, to, to do uh, the opening scene for TVs or, so it, I was lucky enough to really work with amazing people and a very, very broad uh, type of, 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 of work, actually, of type of work, which was like, but not movie. It was anything but movies. And then the technology, I mean, started to, uh, to build up in terms of power. The, the, the computer became more and more, more and more powerful. And so I, I developed the software to be able to do visual effects for film for the quality of feature films. So, uh, and, and so uh, uh, I developed the software and with my crew also, we had the, the, the ability to, to process the film and all that. So I was lucky enough to work on the, uh, on the, the first movie I did, uh, for, 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 for which I did uh, visual effects, was Delicatessen from Caro Angelet. Oh, it was in '92. Si, vraiment? Yeah, oh, si, si. yeah si, Delicatessen, si. yeah. So that was the very first movie. I worked on, and I, I, I knew Caro and Genet, oh, you know, since okay. ever, because I did uh, with them commercials, short films, and all that stuff. So they, they were really my 
brother, friend, buddies, and, and everything. That was the first one. And then after that, I did a bunch of big movies. Of course, I kept working with Carwan Genet. I did the, the City of Our Children. Uh, and then I did a, a very famous film in France called The, the Visitors. Mm -hmm. The Visitors, yeah. a, a comedy, and, and uh, which was very famous. One, one of the, the French blockbusters in, in that time. And then, yeah, and then I worked on Alien, on Angel of Arc. So I was really very lucky to, to, to do a lot of big, big movies and, and with old directors and, and uh, young directors. I've been working with kind of everybody. Yeah, I've seen that. You can check out Peter of Kumar, the IMDb uh, page, and you see all the films. I've seen it, but um, spending an hour or 30 minutes just to, <laughs> to <laughs> talk about all the list of films you've done, like, yeah. I would have been too much. Yeah. But, and so then, you, and then, and then, and sorry, then just, uh, I'll go fast. And then I was lucky enough, you know, because, you know, I was very close to, to Jean-Pierre Genet. So when Jean-Pierre Genet was offered by Fox uh, uh, to do Alien, Alien 4, he took me in LA, in, in, in Hollywood, to be the visual effects supervisor for Alien, as well as the, the, the second lead director. So actually I shot, well, not half, but I think a big third of the movie as, a, as the second lead director of Alien, for, for Alien Resurrection. Oh, but, so, as it's, and, but this, uh, like the connection was from France, right? From where you were, yeah, yeah. and then they took you here, they, they got you here, they took you exactly. here in LA. Yeah, the, the studio, Fox That's Studio amazing. loved, uh, of course, they loved Delicatessen and the, sorry, and, and the, uh, the, the City of Our Children. So they asked Genet to do his thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, to do something close to uh, La Cité, the, the city of the or the Delicatessen. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the studio said, asked Genet, okay, bring your crew because you have such a special way of working, special look. So yeah, bring, bring your crew. So Jean-Pierre, uh, uh, so he brought his uh, DP, uh, his editor, uh, uh, me and a bunch of other people because he was comfortable with us and he knew how we can work together. How, so, how was uh, Peter uh, coming as a foreigner as, as I am as well, like coming to Hollywood, it's such a different place. And how was working, working in Hollywood for what you did in general? Uh, yeah, it was, it was amazing. I mean, so I had two, two different experiences in, in Hollywood. The first experience was, was with Alien and it was like magical. Because, you know, for us, especially coming from the visual effects world, you know, shooting at Fox Studio and, and being in Hollywood doing an alien fucking movie, you know, <laughs> it's fucking alien. So it's fucking an alien, fucking alien. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a dream, even though that was not my dream to come to Hollywood. I mean, my, my dream was to make movies, where it was. I, I was not big with Hollywood. I mean, it's, of course, I, I love Hollywood movies, but it was not my goal to be in Hollywood. So, but being in Hollywood of, was, of course, extraordinary. And spending the whole year, uh, uh, I mean, with, and with, we had an amazing crew. And so it was, I mean, in terms of, you know, of uh, how you work with people, it's the same thing. Yeah, with like people. the ambient, like the environment yeah, yeah. or yeah, like the, the pressure, or also the pressure. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but, you know, it's more being able to work with the studio and with the whole, the whole pressure that the, the, the studio gives you. But it was more, it was more or less, you know, the, the Jean-Pierre's uh, problem to deal with the studio. I was working for Jean-Pierre, of course, within the studio. But, you know, my thing was to please Jean-Pierre and to make sure Jean-Pierre got what, what he wanted. Uh, and that was, you know, as well as a second director, as a visual supervisor. So really to, uh, that the movie looks up like how, how he wants it to be. Uh. Right. See, and, and everyone, as you said, you didn't ask for Hollywood or didn't want to come. You didn't think about it because you just no. wanted to make movies. But everyone dreams of Hollywood. What, uh, when you were here, what did Hollywood mean to you? Like in a broad way, I, I mean, what did it mean beside movies? Like, and what, how, did it ch how did it change Hollywood? Like this shadow you have, because now you're out of the film industry. How did this sh shadow of a Hollywood change you? I mean, it was kind of, you know, it was, it has two sides. One, one horrible and one beautiful. You know, it's the glamour of Hollywood is beautiful. Of course, because it's all, <laughs> about what we dream about, you know, the, the possibility to think about everything, to do anything. Oh. Because of money, of course, first, because Hollywood is about money. But money, but 
the very you know the, the, it's a that's why it's 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 a dark and bright at the same time it's bright because it's glamorous but it's dark because it's money uh, uh, and because you know you're you're as an artist you have no no voice you have nothing and that's what happened to me with catwoman where catwoman i was you know i was of course i was very proud and very happy to do catwoman but you know at the end the movie doesn't look at all at what i wanted at what i wanted at the beginning so they hired me for a movie like Vidoc, uh, which is a dark movie, which is very special. And they hired me for that movie that I did. And by the way, Vidoc was the first feature film that, uh, using the, the um, Made in High Definition, it, Yeah, right? exactly. Vidoc? Vidoc, yeah. Vidoc was the very first film in the world, on this planet, <laughs> made using uh, 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 HD High Definition technology. Mm -hmm. And Even you won, and I know you won, you know, you won many awards for that, for V-Doc. Yeah, 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 I, was, but, yeah, awards, I, was, so yeah, I had plenty of awards. Uh, the, 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 the movie was really well, well acclaimed. And like, you know, all these kind of movies, people, some people loved it and loved it and other like hated it because it was very special. But you know, I like it. You know, it's, it's but, I like to be on the edge. So I, I don't care to be loved by anybody, but by everybody. I mean, I, 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 the whole thing is to do something that that pleases you and that you love, uh, and so if if people love, I, I know that without people, if they love it, they really love it, uh, and so that's that, that, that makes me the, the the happiest person on the planet, and and if they don't like it, fine, you know, I, it's 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 fine. Where Catwoman, it's a different different thing because Cat, Catwoman, uh, so I've been kind of forced to do it, in mm. a. In a sense, where oh, oh no, I'm forced. Of course, of course I, I, I did it and I wanted to do it. But you know, uh, uh, at the very beginning, I was kind of free. I mean, they, they make they make they make me believe that, that, that I could do not exactly whatever I wanted, but th that I would have some some freedom, some artistic mm -hmm. freedom. And so that's how I started. And and you know, I, I wanted to, to to reproduce the same experience we had with Jeunet on Alien. So I brought my production designer uh, who worked on Vidoc and, and Jean Rabas, and he's a French genius, and who worked as well on the city of our children. He's the same production designer with a very strong uh, 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 soul. And so I brought Jean Rabas with me uh, here to start to work on the movie. And, and so the script was going well and, uh, and so on. Um, I'm making story short. Before it, it went well, it was bad, but whatever. So the, 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 uh, at some point, it was like, Pretty much like the dream. So I had my crew, uh, part French crew and and and, and uh, American crew, and uh, uh, and then I start to work. You know, the pre-production, and so it was it, it was great. And suddenly we had this big presentation uh, at the studio, and suddenly the studios they changed their minds, and whatever we did was wrong. Completely. So what you presented, like the first. Uh, view of Catwoman. No, no, no. Wanted no, no, something different. Totally. Yeah, but, but we were in, in pre-production, so nothing was was shot or anything. We, it was all about design, all about uh, okay. the script. It was really. It was way, way before. I mean, you know, it was four months before shooting. So it was where we where, where we were in pre-production, and when we, when they saw where, where we were where we were at. They, uh, the, the big boss of Warner's, of Warner Brothers, just freaked out and say, I don't want that. Go mm -hmm. back to where it was before, where it was totally different. And I the see. script, throw the script out. And mm -hmm. he fired Jean Rabas, my, uh, my production designer. Oh, so the one, that you, the one that you brought, right? The one yeah, that yeah, yeah. You, fired. You yeah, fired. Because the guy was too edgy, too whatever. I mean, it's, it's, so so he, he got fired. And the script gone, and then and the, and the producer told me, okay, now you have to you, you work. I will send you pages of script, and you prep it. You do storyboard, you do whatever the fuck you want, but you prep it. And I, as a producer, I will take care of the script with the studio. So then I was like screwed. I was fucked because you know I could, I didn't have any word on anything. 